Hello, welcome to Straw. Excuse me. Welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have the Philistines four, six, and seven. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to the to God. The and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Jesus Christ. So, yeah, just prayer, prayer, prayer. That's all I can say. So, yeah. And been praying, so. All right, let's see here. For starters, um, I got my so what box, okay? We'll just go there first. Uh, and I've already done it and given it away so this is the so what box i did make a clip of it of what all you got the only thing i didn't like is it's microfiber so instead of hemming it i just searched it around the edge <laughs> and roommate's mom got that for mother's day and then of course i divided tori stuff um and all of that and this is all that i keep out of it because i just want the ideas um, the rest of it I make, and I won't be redoing that video as well because it really comes off really simple. Um, hopefully she'll use terry cloth. It'll be a little bit easier than microfiber to do. So anyway, I did make a little video of the sew up box opening and I'll put that in right here. Hello. So yesterday after I podcast, um, I got my sew what box. And this weekend, I probably will be working on some things uh, just because of the way the weather is and stuff. So I'm going to do the unboxing and then we will put it in the uh, regular video. Now I am going to adjust this. I have a tendency to hold that too high and then y'all can't see. So, all right. So here we go. We've got, it's called So Floral. Um. Uh, our pattern terry cloth towel set okay um, terry cloth towels let's set this open here all right and of course we've got the instruction card that i keep i basically want the picture and that and i can do you know that's my idea thing so we've got our brown thread that goes to my daughter we've got pins and a needle which Go to my daughter um and there is a sewing needle in there so we're good with that all right and then it looks like we've got brown towel oh there's fabric inside sorry <laughs> all right so we've got our we've got some little squares um looks like they're going to do triangles then we've got some lovely green and some gold and another piece of green so these are my pre-cut strips um we've got all of those and then we've got our two pieces of terry cloth towel so this almost feels like more of a microfiber but you know hey it is what it is so we've got that that the pattern and then, of course, in my box, I have the extra fabric. So I've got the fabric bundle. And they're wrapped with the ribbon, which has the um, tags on it. It says homemade, sewn. I never use them. I just give them to Tori, and she can use them. But it's got the tags, handmade tag stuff. So then I've got a red with daisies. I don't know how that's going to, there we go. And then we've got a cream color with daisies. So, yep. So floral, these are kind of, these two remind me of something my grandma would use. Just saying. So the terry cloth pattern will go to Tori. The pre-done kit I will do. The ribbons will go to Tori. The little notions will go to Tori. 
and she has fabric so she will get um to make her own just go through her own fabric i just gave her a big old um what do you call it a big uh trash bag full of it so yeah she gets to go through and find fabrics that will do these so yeah anyway Okay, so there was a sew what box. It's cute. Um, basically, you just sew the two pieces, long pieces together, put your triangles across there, sew it, um, attach it to the towel. Boom, you're done. So, anyway, um, I've also been crocheting. Um, last week, I went to uh, a garage sale and got some yarn. And this is one of them. And I just picked a stitch in the book. I told you last week. Well, this is two skeins. Okay. And this is actually the back. But it's going to be two skeins. And then I have a half skein. Which I believe will make it the full 22 inches. And it's super stretchy. So I'm not too worried about whether it actually makes the 22 inches. Because... It's going to stretch, um, especially when I block it because it's it's going to drape. It's just one of those wools that's going to lay the way I want it to. So um, there's the pattern, and as you can see, it's these are ribbed, and then we've got the V stitch in the center. I have gotten as far as this one has two skeins in it. Um, I have this second one. Now the second one, oh, sorry, is getting there. Now, if you notice, because I'm twisting it, there is half with no rib over here. This part has rib. This back part has rib. So that when it twists, okay, so on this, is twisted when you twist it and put it together you're actually gonna see it like this so you will have ribs here and you will have the ribs of here and it will all have ribs so yeah it, it's in the construction of putting it together where this part becomes the front and it's gonna have it I still have this much to do um, on this one and then I'm going to count the rows and make sure I've got the same exact number of rows on each of them although I just did two skeins and then on the final skein I have one skein I had five skeins so I'm going to start and just use both ends of the yarn and do a row on each side make it sure that it comes out even Then I'm going to stitch them together, and I will be done. So, um, the other thing that I have, I didn't work on that. Uh, the other thing that I have been contemplating is starting another quilt. And I think I'm going to do, uh, I think they call it a magic or half triangle I don't know I'm gonna do a quilt so um I've been doodling a few ideas in my notebook um, I also have a phone stand that I may make for some people at work um, so yeah uh, it'll come down to the measurements on the Thing. I'm trying to use up some material and I'm going to use some fat quarters that I have and yeah the only thing that I want to do is I'm going to find one color solid and then I will have different colors designs so I'm gonna find I don't know that I want to do it white and I don't want to do it black But I want to find a 
solid color. And honestly, I'm thinking maybe a mossy green, if that makes sense. Um, and have that one solid color be the one thing that joins all of them and then do all of the other triangles, uh, the other half of the triangle, a different color, a pattern, you know, and just have it so that it's all colors, but with all of the same green material. I don't know. I, I'm, the problem is, is that I can't figure out a color that I want it all to be. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do, and I kept thinking, well, I could have a cream colored back and so do the cream color, but then it becomes all cream colored and you lose the pattern in it. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I do know I'm going to work on it. So, um, I'm going to go and check out some fabric today at Hobby Lobby. And I am going to do, instead of doing a uh, polyfill type batting, for this one I think I'm going to buy it, that heavy dense cotton batting and make this a winter quilt. And I mean a real heavy winter quilt. So, anyway. All right, that is really all I have for you. Yes, I'm contemplating another quilt. Yes, I'm going to make some phone stands. Um, that is the crafty. Now, I did do one other thing around the house, and the roommate had to help me, and I will put the pictures in right here. Okay, so the back door was put in a couple of, I want to say a year and a half ago, and we just hadn't gone and found a screen for it, and we finally got the screen. It's not hard to put up a screen door. Um, pretty much, you just have to pre-drill the little hinge part, pre-drill it onto the, um, what do you call it, trim, and then you just frame it out and then put the door in there. So, yeah, it is what it is. It was super simple. Um, we were laughing and carrying on. The roommate had to help me because holding a door up there is not easy. Okay, I'm just going to say. So, and it didn't come down on our heads, so we're good. <laughs> But anyway, so we did that, and uh, it was Mother's Day weekend. My daughter texts me. RJ called me, um, and then roommate fired up the grill, and we made, we smoked a lot of meat. Um, Saturday night, we put on a big pork roast and smoked it, and I think we smoked it for about five hours and then we brought it in because I, I won't leave my stuff out there, you know, smoking. And so, um, I, uh, brought it back in, we put it in the fridge and stuff. And then the next morning we fired up the grill again and by noon, everything was good and done. So, uh, at one point we had the gas grill going as a, a keep it warm kind of thing <laughs> as we were smoking this meat then we put it over there because so we had sausages we had um i made some hamburgers and i mix hamburger and sausage together and make hamburgers out of it super super tasty um and then we had some smoked sausage you know like the kielbasa type sausage we put on there and it always tastes better when it's smoked i'm just gonna say so anyway and then roommate's mom came over and we visited for a while and it rained off and on on sunday so yeah it is what it is but uh other than that we haven't done a whole lot um like i said i'm contemplating i spent a lot of time on my phone this last weekend looking at patterns so uh, I know that sounds, and I don't know why it took up so much of my time. I just 
I don't want to do the disappearing uh, four square and then disappearing nine. Square. I just I want something other than square. I've made square for Tori. I've made square for RJ. Just not. Uh, I don't just want all squares. I want to do an actual uh, quilt pattern, and I have some. They're just at the farm, not here. And I actually have a rollout mat for pinning them together. And that is also at the farm. Yeah, I need to get my quilting stuff from the farm, but I haven't. So, anyway. All right, guys, I hope you have a great week. Um, if you have any ideas or great quilt patterns that you just absolutely love, and I don't want to do houses, okay? I, I've looked, and they have cats and birds and, you know, I want something traditional. I want something that was done like a pattern you'd see from the 1800s or something. I, I, I just want a very traditional quilt pattern. And I haven't had much luck finding it other than the half triangle pieces. You know, you cut two triangles, put them together, make a square uh, kind of thing. So anyway. If you have any great patterns that you just adore, put it in the description below. And keep in mind, it is for me. So, yeah. Have a great week, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye.